Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another video on chess of course. In this position, which is placed between Alexander Lubrev and Jerry Lakshinovsky in 2006, White's knight as you can see here is under attack. When he set up Minky's knight away, Alexander played a brilliant move, Queen H5 circling mate. But Black she's like, I just take you. I do now. Well then Bishop D1! Certainly mate in one. Black blocks the threat because now his king had moved to here. But White just captures the bishop. Rook takes e seven. King f eight is forced. And now Black plays a brilliant move. Bishop h six. Planning to do a discover attack and checkmate the black king. Now Black plays Rook e seven. Try. Desperately trying to make his king escape. Now, Bishop takes h5 is the best way to end the game here. But Rook takes e7 check also works. After king g8, he chop takes h5 and checkmate like this. But in the game, of course, White just put Bishop h5 immediately. Since we're captured, the bishop captures with check, king is forced to go to g8, and then knight g4 threatening this, h6, trying to escape, bishop g6, brilliant stuff, look at this, look at this man, look at this, brilliant, and there's no way for black to defend, time for the second puzzle. This game is played in in 2012 between Alex Letterman and Steven Zerk. So in this game, it's White's turn to move. It looks like White's attack is fading here. He's down a piece, he already sacrificed the bishop. But White played a brilliant move. Rook d3, distracting the queen. If the queen takes, then this is mate. So the queen has to move to here where black blocks the bishop which is what he did in the game after bishop d7 you bring the other rook into the game attacking black black continues to defend and takes the pawn which threatens mate in one now rook g8 of course defending mate in one and now rook h3 Threatening mate here. Now, Black is trying desperately to hang on, sacrificing the rook. Now, the king takes g2, bishop takes h3 check. But instead of taking with the queen, you take with the king. Because Black has no good checks here. He still cannot take the rook as a mate. So, after king takes h3, Black tries to check the, the white king. But the king continues to advance up the board. Now, black has to defend of the threat of queen g7 checkmate. And now, to finish the game off, rook d8. Queen takes d8 and checkmate. In this position, if black tries to do this, then one can just simply take this. If not take, it's checkmate on g7 once again. I hope you enjoyed this video, subscribe and like for more videos.